A company from China has done something no other car manufacturer has ever done in history by producing the cheapest pickup truck on earth with a starting price of $2,000. Unbelievable. This truck has something special you can never find in any pickup truck, not even the thousands or hundreds of dollar trucks like the popular Tesla Cybertruck, Hummer EV, or the Ford F-150 Lightning, despite the pickup truck nicknamed F-50, which means it is a mini Ford F-150 Lightning truck. Have you ever wondered why this vehicle is so cheap? Let's find out if the Changli pickup truck really offer more value above the price tags. From the very beginning up to the present day, only a select few content creators on YouTube have successfully acquired the Qingli truck from China. Prominent figures such as Super Blondie, Domitz, eBikeSchool.com, Heavy D Sparks, Shooting Cars, and Whistling Diesel are among those who made purchases of the Changli truck through Alibaba, directly from the supplier, Changli. However, we strongly advise against purchasing this truck. The quality is, um, how do I put this? It smells like China. Unless you are fully prepared to embrace the challenges it may present and are well informed about all the specifications and details that we are about to unveil. Changli, the manufacturer of the truck, is indeed based in China. As we mentioned earlier, they have successfully managed to offer the Changli truck at an affordable price point due to their unique approach to production. Unlike many other companies, Changli manufactures all of the vehicle's parts in-house, thereby significantly reducing production costs. This cost-saving strategy allows them to mass-produce the trucks and generate substantial profits. As anticipated, Changli has opted for older technology features and lower cost components in their vehicles. When you inspect the working parts beneath the vehicle, you will quickly grasp the implications of this choice. The vehicle appears to have its merits, offering an enjoyable driving experience. However, when it comes to safety on the road, it falls short. The car enthusiast who unveiled the truck on the Super Blondie YouTube channel described it as cramped. It's not a big vehicle. There we go. Which implies that maneuvering to the left or right inside the vehicle can be challenging. Several YouTubers have also corroborated this, noting that achieving higher speeds is difficult due to the rough suspension. Nonetheless, it does manage to exceed speeds of 25 miles per hour. The $2,000 truck is available in two options. The first variant features seating for two, reminiscent of sports cars. In contrast, the second variant offers two rows of seats designed to accommodate four passengers. However, it's worth noting that the second row is quite snug and primarily suitable for children, which may not be necessary for all buyers. This compact truck measures just 11 feet 6 inches in length and rides on 12-inch aluminum wheels, it also includes an additional spare tire and roof racks, ideal for transporting cargo when embarking on off-road adventures. Additionally, it features a bull bar, side rails, and an extra tool bag containing essential tools for vehicle maintenance. These tools were initially removed to ensure the safety and feasibility of shipping. The front fascia of the truck boasts the customary two headlights and a generously sized grille reminiscent of previous generation vehicles. On the size, you'll find signal lights. However, the manufacturer went the extra mile by equipping a complete set of lights on the roof rack, catering to those who enjoy driving or exploring during nighttime hours. Don't be surprised or shocked by what you'll find inside this car. Remember, you are paying $2,000 for this vehicle, and you'll still get electrically adjustable windows. Additionally, the steering wheel boasts buttons for various functions although they are merely decorative and non-functional, crafted from plastic. It's quite amusing. Furthermore, the digital gauge cluster in front of the driver prominently displays the vehicle's battery range and speed. There are also turn signals, and below them are sets of red on and off switch buttons. One is meant to control the AC in the car, but it's not a high-quality air conditioner. I have no idea what... Aircon? That's aircon. <laughs> it functions more like a blowing fan. The second button helps switch the external lights on and off. Additionally, there is a USB port and an SD port available. The central screen is somewhat amusing because, at first glance, it gives the impression of being a touchscreen. Unfortunately, for me and those who thought likewise, 
The screen navigation is controlled by the small, tiny buttons located below it. These buttons provide access to Bluetooth, photos, and most importantly, a standard rear view camera, a valuable feature. This is a unique offering from Chang Li in this truck. While they could have done something more advanced, it's still a significant improvement for the price compared to other golf carts without windows that could leave you exposed to rain when it's wet outside. The seats are made from fabric, although it's worth noting that others who purchased the truck at different times might have seats made from different materials, as these trucks are still in production to this day. One standout feature of this truck is its spacious bed, which can accommodate large items with ease. As we'd promised from the outset, this vehicle has a unique feature that sets it apart from other trucks, a dumb bed or dumb body, whichever term you prefer. This feature utilizes a hydraulic or mechanical system that enables the truck bed to be raised and tipped, simplifying the unloading of materials such as sand, waste, or granite. It's a practical and convenient feature that distinguishes this truck from the rest. The Changli pickup truck boasts the capability to tow loads ranging from 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. It operates as a rear-wheel drive vehicle and offers a top speed that varies between 25 to 45 miles per hour, depending on the trim level you select. This impressive performance is powered by a 3 kW motor. What sets this electric truck apart from others is its unconventional use of five large Li acid batteries instead of typical lithium-ion ones. This unique choice provides a driving range of approximately 80 to 100 miles on a single charge. To achieve a full battery charge, you'll need to dedicate around 8 to 9 hours to the charging process. For those who have been wondering why they haven't seen this truck in dealerships or on the roads, that's a simple reason. They are not legal to drive on most American roads. The Changli trucks, originally from China, are neighborhood electric vehicles specifically designed to aid local farmers in their daily farming tasks. These trucks are used for transporting farm produce, manure, wood, and planting materials within farming communities. As you can see, there are indeed superior versions of this pickup truck available from other manufacturers. These new models are growing in size, offering longer driving ranges, improved performance, but they also come with higher price tags. But is that all you get for the base price of $2,000? Not quite. Those who purchased the pickup truck had additional expenses, such as $220 for the battery, extra fees for shipping, and charges for towing the vehicle off the shipping vessel. When you factor in these additional costs, the total expenditure for the truck can rise significantly, reaching up to $7,000 for some buyers.